Hi, this is Ken Urban um, doing a CSC 125 video. In this one, we're going to talk about how to take the code that we've done on Linux and kind of bring it into a code blocks project. Um, specifically for the day class, we're going to sort of resurrect it uh, from the source code and bring it into a code blocks project. Um, so the first thing we need to do is, is we need to bring the files locally onto the machine. So I'm going to start up WinSCP and connect to my remote system, right, www.csit. Right. Remember that my password is saved in here. Um, I was actually already here. But we would go into our directory and we'd look around. Um, I have all my projects sitting here in one directory, and the one I'm interested in is date three. So I'm just going to kind of put this on the side. Uh, I'm going to open the local machine um, and then go to where locally I keep all my stuff here, which actually is not locally, it's on Dropbox. And um, I'm just going to grab this date three folder, bring it over here into my uh, local folder. All right, so I, I basically, right, because I have all the files I need in one directory, I can just kind of grab that directory. Now, this directory isn't set up to, for code blocks, right? You remember in code blocks, right, there's this um, project file, the CPV file, and, and there's other stuff that's around there. So, so that's half the battle. Now we got to get it working in code blocks. Um, remember that the name of the directory is date three. So I'm going to shut these down. I'm going to start up code blocks and I'm going to do a new project. Console application as usual. C++ as usual. Now, um, it puts projects right, in the same folder or directory as the title. So I'm going to call it date three which matches right, the place where all my files are, right? And, and of course, I, I, this is already set in the same spot, but you may have to look around to find it, right? It's going to call date 3 So now, I'm going to do the same things for here in project. Now, it's giving me something different here. It says this wizard is about to overwrite the following existing file, main CVP, right? It's going to put in its hello world program. Now, I already have a main CVP. Are you sure you want to overwrite it? Well, no, I don't want to overwrite it. I want to keep my old one. Okay, so I'm going to hit no. Now here's my date three project. I have my main CPP. Right? Remember, it, we created a date class, and we could set the day and print the day and, and stuff like that. Um, if I run it, or I mean compile it, right? it doesn't compile. Undefined reference to date, date. Undefined reference to date. Undefined. It's all can't find any of the date stuff because it's not compiling it correctly. Right, all the files are there, but not compiled correctly. So I need to add it to the project. So I go over here to date three, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to right click on date three. One of the options is add files. So I can go into here, and I can add date. If you can do, you can do them individually, or you can just do the um, control click to sort of add it in there. So I have the source file, the header file, date cpp and date.h. I'm going to open both debug and release, right, we've done that before. And now, here's all my stuff. When I run it, hopefully everything works fine, right, and I get two dates, right? Um, so that's um, how to add or, or sort of, I guess, resurrect um, a project or move it from Linux in, back into CodeBlocks. Um, okay, bye.